is Erwin Mitchell. So could you let everyone know your name, who you work for and your job title? Hi, my name is Helen Murray. I work for Erwin Mitchell Solicitors and I'm currently the Interim Head of Applications and Development. Amazing. So tell us a typical day in your current role, Helen. There's no such thing as a typical day, and I bet everybody says that. Um, I've, I've been doing this uh, um, interim role for just over a year now, and I can tell you it's always extremely busy, but never boring. So in my role, I manage 34 people, and I've got four team leads to help me with that. Um, so a lot of the day is, you know, uh, centres around um, coaching, training, you know, the people side of things, um, resource resourcing conflicts and, and just generally ensuring the well-being of the team, um, especially around these last 12 um, challenging months since COVID hit us um, and working from home and all the challenges around homeschooling and all of that. So every day brings something new there. Um, I spend a lot of my time in meetings, um, which can be very varied, though, so as boring as it sounds there. You know, it can be anything from future strategy to project meetings to just general conversations. Um, I try and encourage collaboration. So there's a lot of um, discussions happening in a lot of meetings where there's people coming up with ideas. So they're really good and really interesting. And I try and spend an element of each day on decommissioning as well. So currently trying to get rid of a lot of our legacy estate, um, which is really cathartic, really enjoy that. It's really good every day to tidy something up. Um, lastly, I try and get out for a walk every lunchtime if it's not raining, so really recommend that. Brilliant. Well, definitely a very varied day. Um, so could you share some of the key moments in your life that have influenced your career, the kind of jobs that you've done and the choices that you've made? I can, yes. Well, it didn't quite go to plan or where I, saw, where I, how I first planned it. Um, we did quite well at school, got a number of what were then O levels, um, but now we do CSEs. And, and I was advised at the time to stay on and do uh, English literature and politics. I've never understood why the politics, because I can't remember ever showing any interest in that, but that was the way they were pushing me. Um, I wasn't having any of that. I couldn't wait to leave. And, I, and I've been... I've always been an avid reader and I was reading a series of books about nursing at the time, like this, this nurse, an army nurse. And that was it. I was definitely going to be a nurse. So absolutely convinced. But at that time you had to sit a, um, an exam and then that was followed up by an interview if, if you pass the exam. So I went along to the exam. I've always been fairly good at exams, luckily. Sailed through that. But then failed the interview, which came as a real shock. I didn't, you know, and I look looking back, I didn't prepare for it. It was my fault, but you know, I really didn't know then what I was going to do. I had no idea. So it was the summer of '76, really hot. So I lounged about in the garden a bit, watched Beyond Bog, um, win Wimbledon that year. So I was really, really stuck, and I think. I'd always been impressed by my mum doing shorthand. She was just doing this shorthand. Probably some of you won't even know what that is, but <laughs> look it up. She was shorthand against the news. And that was that was said to be, you know, if you if you could do, if you could keep up with a newsreader, you were the top of your game on shorthand. So I'm a friend, one of my best friends was going to college for shorthand and typing. So I went along and did that. And I also got a job as an office junior. And then, you know, I was just, really good at it. It was really good at the shorthand and the typing and everything. So uh, um, within a year, I was a senior typist. And I stuck at that for a couple of years and then left and had children. So, And then I was ready to come back to work. But by now, technology had really, really moved on. And, you know, so I thought, well, then what am I going to do? So I went back to college at that point and decided to do some uh, um, computer programming. And that's how I got my job at Irwin Mitchell. So in the meantime, I worked, you know, in a bar, ended up running a pub or all sorts of different things, you know, just, just but I was always, you know, really involved with uh, lots of people and, uh, you know, training people and things like that. I enjoyed that element of it as well. But so I started at Irwin Mitchell um, as a, a developer, one of our case management systems that is still with us today, although I am actively trying to decommission it at the moment. <laughs> but, <laughs> really good but uh, um, 
you know, and, and it, during my career at Irwin Mitchell, I've been a case handler handling road traffic accidents. Um, I've run a team of developers and other people um, creating case management systems and just working with the business in general to, on that every day. Um, what else have I done? I've also led a team of uh, um, data analysts. So we were very much into creating management information for the firm. And then eventually moved into change and um, work, you know, first on the business side of it and then the IT side of it until got the role that I've got today. So during my career at Owen Mitchell, I, I have really, you know, I've, I've often managed a lot of people from small to large teams and I really enjoyed, I've really enjoyed that element. There's just nothing more rewarding than watching somebody you've recruited and trained and coached, you know, go further and, and you, you know, either further their career at Owen Mitchell or, or elsewhere. It's so rewarding. Absolutely. And so if you could go back in time to when you were at school, what piece of advice would you give yourself? Seize your opportunities and have a go. Really, really everything. It just, even if it turns out to be not for you, you'll still learn something from it. Absolutely brilliant. That was fantastic, Helen. Thank you so much. Do you think, well, I'll have a look. I went off piste a bit. <laughs> 